So leveraging oncolytic viruses has been an area of active research in cancer therapy for a long time, um, and it led eventually to the development of a drug called telamagene laherpyrepvec, or TVEC, in melanoma. And that was the first oncolytic virus to be approved, but really was sort of more of a proof of concept to the field that this kind of therapy could be leveraged for the future. So the, the Articus trial looks at another oncolytic virus called the RP1 virus, but specifically looks at it in the context of patients whose immune systems are suppressed after having, having a solid organ transplant. So these patients have to be suppressed for their immunity in order to maintain the graft so they can stay alive. Uh, but those patients are at high risk to develop cutaneous malignancies, like cutaneous squamous cell carcinomas, and they can often be very aggressive. And while we know that anti-PD-1 immunotherapy can be very effective for such a disease, you can't really safely administer that therapy in this patient population because you would risk getting rid of their transplant. And so it's very interesting then to think about injecting into those tumors this oncolytic virus, and that's in fact exactly what the trial is doing. So we're investigating the efficacy of the RP1 virus in patients whose immune systems have been suppressed and they've developed secondary malignancies. So the trial's ongoing, uh, but I think that this is uh, potentially a great option for the future for a very specific population of patients, but it shows how we're leveraging novel you know, treatments now for specific subsets of patients.